Welcome back to another episode of Alberta Boys TV. My name is Brad, one of the owners of Alberta Boys Custom. We have a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Come down from Cochrane Toyota. We are excited to show you guys what we have here for you. We are always excited to bring new businesses into the fold. This is the first vehicle we did with Cochrane Toyota and it was something different for us. We were thinking, how do we take this truck and make it Alberta Boys? The Tacoma being a classic brand, first year of Toyota Tacoma. 1995. Really? The Tacoma's been around for over 25 years. We were excited to take and make it one of our own. Hi, Ryan Baum, General Manager of Cochrane Toyota. 10 years here in Cochrane, we're excited about this collaboration. Alberta Boys Customs, Tacoma Town, and Cochrane Toyota are gonna bring this most exciting Tacoma build yet. We always love being given a blank slate. We were down there designing with their team. What do we wanna do with this truck? We wanted to go adventure off-road style. We were hoping for something that we could take off-road, be functional, make it to the back country, also make it on the highway, be able to go anywhere we wanted it to go. When we're picking colors, we always try to find something vibrant, something that's gonna be sharp, detailed. Voodoo Blue was the right color to pick for this build. We gave a shout to one of the local companies we work with often, Going Places Courier, brought down the flat deck to Cochrane, picked up the Voodoo Blue 2020 TRD, and we're just stoked to start working on what we had. We seek out the best in Alberta, in the automotive sector. We try hard to find the people that have the most integrity, character, and the most quality behind them, that they will come forwards with us and we can build something that we could not build alone. Now we're heading down to higher tech lifts. We're one of my favorite lift techs, Mark, who's been doing it for over 20 years. He's gonna get his hands on this truck and we're gonna figure out how to make this lift fit this 2020. Mark is one of the most well-respected techs in this area. He's had many trucks in many different areas, uh, in magazines like Diesel World, and has just fabricated some of the best things that you could see put on a truck. Call up the guys from BDS, asking them, what do you guys have for a lift for this truck? They told us, there's nothing. We don't have anything yet. So we said, together, we're gonna figure out what we need to do. the hipsters like to hide around renewable energy. I can't see any right now. There's no coffee shops close. They're very hard to spot. They wear earth tone colors. Shh, shh, shh. Here comes one now. Here you see the hipster in his natural habitat taking pictures of renewable energy. Boy, look at him running his Nikes. Bet they're not made out of renewable energy. What is he doing? Oh, he's getting a better angle. Look at him go. And his little beanie toque. As you see him run majestically, his Apple product in his hand. Nike's on his feet. Beanie, obviously made in fair trade. <laughs> It's time for 
plan for teardown. Deconstruction is always one of those trickier parts on something that's brand new. There's no instruction manual on how to pop clips, how to take things apart. So we slowly deconstruct it, figure out what we're gonna do to keep it the way that we need it. So that way when we take it apart and put it back together, we're exactly where we need to be. We tore out the headlights and taillights, sent them down to Robert down at Evolution Motorsports, one of the best retrofitters here in Central Alberta. We gave the guys down a fuel wheels and MHT a call to find out what kind of rims are we putting on this thing. We want something tough, looks good, pops, is different, and is new. Good, it's on the ground. <laughs> at the shop, we try to always have an atmosphere of fun. We enjoy being at work. We enjoy working on trucks. Well, the beautiful thing about working in the custom world is, yeah, we get to work in all sorts of fun places. Being a young family-based operation, I have my brother-in-law, my wife, we got a great team of young guys moving forward with us. The passion behind vehicles, the love for design, it's something we're just instilling in the group. Uh, my name is uh, Ben Bridge. Uh, I own Design Riders Private Tattoo Lounge here in Red Deer, Alberta. Uh, I've been tattooing just about 12 years now. Um, specialize in cover-up work here, so we're actually going to get Brad in today and uh, get some of this stuff on his arm cleaned up from, from old tattoos. When, when Brad approached me for this tattoo idea, as many of you know, Brad is uh, sporadic as, as anybody. I basically reel him in and uh, kind of push them towards one idea. So today we're gonna to focus more on a music piece. Music is always something that's been inside of me. Since I was young, I've been involved in church bands. In my late teens and early 20s, I pursued music hard, uh, to the point where I was in many different bands and I decided I needed to do it differently. I became the lead singer, agent, manager for a band, and in 2013, the band called Tattered got signed to a record label. We pushed forwards, we made it in 2014 onto the world's biggest tour, the Rockstar Uproar Tour. We were touring with bands like Rob Zombie, Buck Cherry, Pop Evil. We'd quit our jobs and we were just so excited to move forwards in the music industry. After a short amount of time being there, I realized this wasn't what I wanted with the rest of my life. Music still being a huge part of what I do, it's what I identify as, as a designer, as a musician, as a lover of vehicles, and that's where I really wanted to move forwards in the entertainment industry with trucks and figure out how to combine these two things together to do what I love the most. For reconstruction. Being a young business, we're always looking for new technology, new developments, new way to go. We are trying to be the utmost in quality while bringing the newest technology to the forefront to give us the best products that we can ever find. This part's always fun because parts don't often fit the way that they anticipate they're gonna fit. We have to relocate uh, on this truck, the tranny cooler didn't fit back where it was supposed to fit, so we had to relocate the tranny cooler. We were trying to get the winch in there. The winch didn't fit the way that we were hoping it was gonna fit. We relocated a few parts, trying to rerun some of the wires to make sure that everything looked clean, tight, functional, and that we weren't having anything overheat. When putting this one back together, uh, it doesn't come with the pieces that go for the bumper. So we take and pre-fit the bumper, 
figure it out, and then now we're gonna take and cut the factory bumpers so that way we have the front bumper and the factory pieces fitting as if it's something that was coming straight from the factory. We were excited to take and put color match body liner on this truck. The front bumper, the rear bumper, we're going with our smooth, our textured, a combination. We, we've taken body liner and instead of just being a textured product, we're getting almost as smooth as paint with the ability to have the strength of a liner. We've been spending many years developing our product. Now it's available on the public market. We have the first shop we decided to allow to spray our product, Boss Built Trucks. We're working closely alongside them and they are doing a fantastic job. Mariah and Lane down in Carlisle are kicking butt. And we're excited to bring other businesses on alongside us so that way we can build a team together and make the automotive community here in North America better than it's ever been. We were really excited to see how this thing all comes together. The headlights, the taillights, the bumpers, the rack, the tent. We just went all out adventure style on this one. We decided on the Fuel Rebel series. We had something that was a matte finish, a lot stronger of a finish on the top. Went with an 18 inch rim that we had a good amount of tire for that way when we're back country, we can drop down our tire pressure. We can go places that 20, 22 is not gonna take us. We're really excited to see how it's gonna work, how it's gonna function and get it into the back country. on location, ready to shoot for video two. We are stoked to show you what this thing's gonna look like. Give the guys a few wheels a call to find out what can we put on this truck that's gonna give us a tough finish, the clearance we need, the rims that we need, and the look that we need. We decided to go with the Rebel Series, uh, a matte finish that can put up with some more sticks and stones, uh, give us an 18 inch rim so that we had some more tire. When we're off road, we know that we're getting what we need for the adventure style. When looking at what to do for lift of this truck, we knew we wanted some good clearance. We went to one of my favorite brands, BDS. We went a six inch lift, and when they told us they had nothing ready for this, we knew that we could work together to get what we needed. When it comes to retrofitting headlights, there is no other than Evolution Motorsports here in Central Alberta. We were excited to send those headlights and taillights down to Robert. He did exactly what he does best. Rob from Evolution Motorsports, Sylvan Lake. Um, working with the team at Alberta Boys Custom again on an awesome build. Glad to be back. Um, 
got this, this 2020 Tacoma, ripped open the, the uh, factory headlights and taillights, paint matched the uh, headlights and taillights voodoo blue and gloss black, tinted the actual red lines in the taillight to kind of give it that same, that same look, some LED reverse lights of course, opened up the OEM headlights, installed the Morimoto Mini HB high beam only projector in the high beam spot to keep it that quad projector look, LED bulbs in the low beams, the uh, etched lenses on the projector, so we did the Tacoma Town etching on the low beam, the Alberta Boys logo on the high beam, just to give it that extra custom look. Kept them clean, simple, didn't want to go too over the top of the color changing or anything like that. We did a custom theme down the side of the truck, put the words Tacoma down, so we brought our smooth color match body liner on the front bumper, underneath the flares. <laughs> We did a strip across the tailgate, matching lights, having the TRD brand coming through, Toyota Racing Development, a team we were just excited to be able to work with. We snuck lights in here, there, and everywhere that we could. We brought from Lloyd Minister Five Star Auto Accessories. Not only did we get a custom set of kickbacks made by these guys, we've used them before for grills. We also did some graphic design with them and we took the Tacoma Town Cochrane Toyota label and we made it next level so that way we could have it representing their brand doing what they needed to push forwards. We are grateful to do business with the people that we do business with. We search out people of high character, integrity, customer relations, people that are gonna stand strongly behind their products and are gonna support locally. We took this truck on in shorter notice than we had anticipated and we decided we wanted to bring it to the world's biggest touring show across North America, World of Wheels. something that was exciting, but we knew that we were gonna try and pull off a month and a half's worth of work in three weeks. We pulled it off, but when I tell you that the time crunch and the crunch at the end, it wasn't until the truck was pulling in on the truck and trailer into the world of wheels that I got to see the vision of what we created. And it was just amazing. I couldn't believe the, sp the spider eyes in the front end, the headlights, the taillights, the bumpers, the winch, the tires, the rims, it all tied in together to be the vision that was in our head before we started. It's a pleasure to be at the World of Wheels. We went around, checked out all sorts of cool vendors. We have a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. It was a fantastic vehicle to get our hands on. Toyota Tacoma is something that we haven't touched many times, so we were excited to bring this one to you guys. We brought the Sherman here with us to the World of Wheels. We built this for a member of the Princess Patricia Canadian Light Infantry. You can see completely coated in our color match body liner, we color matched to the Canadian flag patch on the side of his uniform, and we were just excited to make this. We have an allied star on the side of the door, dedicated to all the World War II vets out there. We were just so stoked to get our hands on this vehicle. We have 24 by 14 American force rims on here. We have the 40 by 15 and a half Fury tires, and I tell ya, she looks mint. World of Wheels finished, we pulled a finished spot. Now it's time to bring the truck down to Cochrane Toyota where it sits in the showroom awaiting its new buyer. In this economic time, we find it even more important to look where we're spending our dollars. Taking them locally, taking them to friends, taking them to businesses that we know will make a difference. Hey guys, thanks for watching episode two of Alberta Boys TV. Behind us, we have a 2020 Limited that's gonna be in season two, January 2021. We're gonna be across all satellite and cable providers across the nation. If you know somebody that loves vehicles, don't forget to like and share this with them and share the love around. <laughs>